in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Greed. If a look of ravenous hunger comes over them, run. Run from the institution, for if you don't, you will be eaten alive in the most painful way possible. However, if a look of tired want comes over them, they will take you to a cell in a corridor that wasn't there before. The walls will be made of fine gold and silver, but do not touch it, lest they devour your soul. As you walk, if at any time you hear the sound of coins jingling, stop and yell quickly, ALL THAT GLISTENS IS NOT GOLD! If it continues, you are damned for all eternity, and there is no point in running. However, if it stops, continue. Eventually you will come to a gilded door. The worker will open it and close their eyes as you enter. As you enter, the door will close behind you. Inside is an exquisite palace, crafted of ivory and gold and wonders that no mortal man has ever built or conceived. Do not dwell too long, as if you do, the world will open under you, and you will be eternally trapped in a world of filth and squalor. If you continue, the palace around you will slowly and increasingly drip, drip blood, until a torrent of blood rains down on you. Continue and never look back, and do not stop. Eventually the blood will stop, and you will be in a room filled with gold bricks and treasure. Sitting in a throne of platinum will be a corpse, which will respond to only one question. What do they lust for? It will stand up and begin telling of every want, every desire, every theft. If you manage to keep your sanity, the corpse will motion towards the treasure when it finishes its story. However, do not take any of the gold or treasure. Instead, look for a small copper coin inscribed with an unknown language. The second you touch it, you will be back in the institution, as if nothing had happened, with the coin in your hand. That coin is object 66 of 538. It is worth nothing and everything.